Y'all thought it was over, but I can't quit you Friday the 13th. Oh, it's like a bad relationship, oh, I swear. Oh, yeah, it is. Friday the 13th, the NES game. Yeah. And uh, speaking of things that I can't quit, uh, <laughs> this is the uh, the fourth anniversary of, uh, of Let's Grumble. Hooray! Yeah, we've been doing this four years today, and I uh, I can't believe I'm still bothering with this. But, uh, well, here we are. Oh, we got to throw rocks at the zombies. Oh. Right back where we started. <laughs> Playing Friday the 13th on the NES. Yes, indeed. Okay. Hello again, old blocky, overly large cabins with uh, no beds in them. You know what the funny thing is, is I, uh, this is... I'm not gonna say a cold play. I own like five copies of the game. I played it multiple times. Yeah. But um, I have not played this in forever, and I didn't do a test run. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And you're playing it on the uh, on the old school NES, my old crotchety uh, eight dollar from a uh, garage sale Nintendo too. Yeah. We're doing this old school. Yeah. That's why there's all those wavy lines. We have no time for you, emulation. Damn straight. You hear that, Kananada to Jake? Kananada to Jake. Yeah, Kananada to Jake. <laughs> we ain't emulating. Ah, oh, uh -oh. someone's in trouble. And they're right on the way. Oh, good. Hold on, we're coming. You just gotta get these zombies all the way. Thank you. Where are you, Jason? Right there. Hi there, remember me? On the plus side, now that it's uh, four years later, and uh, I, s I know a thing or two about editing now, I can uh, I can probably do this uh, video a little bit more justice. All right. We'll, uh, we'll put it out there in high def, even though the game is ridiculously low def. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that and we'll... Uh, Ah. Gotta get the uh, jar of jelly. Yeah, we'll put it in the right file. We'll we'll put it in the right uh, aspect ratio. It'll be great. People will be like, man, that guy knows what he's doing. He knows a thing or two about a thing or two. And then they'll get off of PewDiePie's video, and then they'll be like, ah, oh, what's this? Uh, let's grumble nonsense. I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> Yes, and we got much better microphones than four years ago. Ouch! Oh, that is definitely true. I'm not trying to record this on a... Uh, on a shotgun mic. I yeah, on a shotgun mic off of my video camera. No, we have actual lavalier microphones. Oh, come on, Pam. You're killing me, Pam! Yes. Let's take the... Oh. Forgetting how the buttons work here. But yeah, as I'm certain it's no secret to anybody right now that uh, I am a huge fan of Friday the 13th. Yes, yes we are. I've been playing this game for years. I don't care about the children. Got a cabin to explore. <laughs> Hold on, kids. So this is amazing. Can you believe we've actually been doing this for four years now? I, I still find it hard to believe. I mean, granted, we took like a bit of a hiatus at one point, but I mean, other than that, I mean... Go into the cave. We already did. Four years. You know, it's been four years since we started this, and it's uh, it still shocks me that we're still doing it. Because I know we originally started out, it was just you, and then you went on a hiatus for a little while, and you're like, hey, you want to... Be in my videos and I'm like sure so here I am I think it works better with the two of us I've heard a lot of people say that too because then it's not just uh, me and a whole bunch of dead air whenever I'm uh, trying to figure out what the hell's going on in this game yeah you got something to bounce off of you know bounce All right, off watch of this watch this watching uh, how many panels on that door there's eight how many now there's six yep that wasn't me. That was the game all along. <laughs> it's messing with your mind, Creepy. It's messing with your mind. Oh, what do the kids want now? Oh, we gotta go to the lake. 
Yeah, we gotta go to the lake. Oh, good, Chrissy's right there. Yeah, he can pelt Jason with rocks. Chrissy's quick. Yeah, looks at... She's like, I'm quick, but not when it comes to rowing a canoe. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, uh -oh. there's Jason. I ain't scared of you. I it's only rocks. day one, you ain't frightened. I got rocks. Yeah, well, I got a katana, apparently. Yeah. God, the machete looks like such ass in this game. I know. It looks like a bent butter knife. That's not to say that I don't love this game. Like I said, I own five copies of this thing. Because I'm a and every sick, sad person, honestly, but... <laughs> and every time we go to the, uh, the classic game shop, we always look for more. Yep. Well, that's my goal, is to own every copy of it one day. Yes, it's the Friday the 13th NES Collecting Challenge. I'm coining it now. <laughs> Alright, Mark, where are you? Right here. Alright. Look at this. I don't remember summer camping like this. Alright, well, we've got a few of those cabins lit. Now we need to... Spread out the blankets and have a picnic. Help us! Oh, who's he attacking now? Almost got the knife. Nope. Nope. Oh, it's right here. Thank you. Where are you, Jason? Oh, uh, where are you in your purple jumpsuit? Oh, he's got the toothbrush. Yep. He's just like, you have the one thing I hate more than anything, gingivitis. <laughs> Brush. Floss. Go to the dentist. Yep. It was definitely toothbrush time. <laughs> Schedule your dentist appointment every six months. Avoid foods oh. high in sugar. Oh, he's going to try to get me. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. All right. That that was dumb on me. I fucked this up. Ooh. I don't know if we can save this. Yes, four, year, four years, everybody. Yeah, four years. <laughs> four years of me fucking this up. <laughs> oh. Toothbrush yes. time. Yep. Make sure you eat foods low in sugar and and don't drink drinks that are high in carbolic acid. Mm. Carbonic? Carbolic? It's carbonic. Ah. Sure. Oh, you jerk. Jason, you jerk. Go away, zombies. All right, there. All sorts of lighters. Do we have a myself a lighter. Do we can't uh, set these zombies on fire? There we go. There's a knife. I got a knife. Now I'm going to cut up some fruit. Some breadfruit. <laughs> Hi. Uh, it's risky, but... I guess we'll take that chance. You're at zombie camp. Hello, anybody here? It sure is dark in here. Have you seen the, uh... Ooh, a note. You can find a torch in one of the cabins by the lake. Alrighty, way ahead of ya. <laughs> Have you seen the ad for the tack light? Tack light. 
Yeah, the tack light. I don't think I have. It is, uh, it's a flashlight that you can, uh, you can run over with a Humvee. God damn it, kids. And, uh, well, you can run over it with a Humvee and you can freeze it nice and... It's, uh... Actually, you know, now that I'm describing it, it's it's it sounds lame as hell. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, we got the toll of Satan lollipop. And yes, that is an actual lollipop. A Satan lollipop? It's called the toll of Satan. And uh, it's. Oh, a let me guess, it's one of those like hipster spicy, hipster it's... spicy lollipops. Uh, spicy, yes. Hipster, no. Uh, what it is is it's a uh, it's a lollipop shaped like a uh, like a red claw, or in this case Satan's toe, and uh, it's got uh, Carolina Reaper pepper in it. Yeah, that sounds hipsterish. Yeah, go away, bird. I don't know what it is with people these days. They're like, you know what? I like to have my mouth. Scalded with capsaicin. No, it's more like I'm gonna just eat the world's hottest pepper. Well, maybe soon not to be, but as I've heard, it still is. You but, know what? Uh, I'm not impressed. I'm really not. You know, it's like, oh, I get, oh, I'm a badass. I can stick a pepper that's way too hot in my mouth. You know what? You want to impress me? Stick that motherfucker up your ass. <laughs> stick your motherfucker. Stick that motherfucker up your ass, and don't cry. <laughs> uh, I'll be impressed. Uh, new for our merch shop, Carolina Reaper enemas. <laughs> <laughs> stick it up your ass and don't cry. <laughs> stick it up in your. Stick it up your ass and don't cry. I think that's Golden Corral's new motto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rip tracks. <laughs> Actually, if it was Skull and Corral, it'd probably be stick it in your face and don't cry. Hi, Jason. Jason's like, I'm back. Make sure you get regular cleanings. And if you do have tooth pain, don't. You know, definitely see a dentist. It could be periodontal disease. You win, for now. This is crazy as hell. We got this on three TVs right now. Yeah, we have it on a, a CRT TV in the middle and our two flat screens. Hi, Jason! Go Get out of here, Jason! Don't need none of you. Yeah, we have it there. CRT in the middle, we have one flat screen that we have the capture card on, and then we have one off to the side. So it's like a, it's like a surround picture of uh, Friday the 13th NES edition. <laughs> yeah! This is our fourth, fourth anniversary, why not? Yep. Of course, anytime I play anything on the old Nintendo, I have to uh, throw it on a CRTV so I uh, I don't get any lag issues. Yeah, you don't want lag in certain games. Or not lag, but... Um... Oh... It's a delay of some sort. Yeah, it's a, it's a video delay. It's a fraction of a second, but it's enough that it can screw you up. Yeah, especially in the more complicated games. Ooh, I got a note! Go into one of the cabins by the lake. They really want us to go into those cabins by the lake. Did uh, did anyone ever, like, pass you notes when you were in school? Oh no, I wasn't the popular kid. I, uh, you know, I remember, like, I was really bugged that, like, I, I was, like... I was talking to a friend one day, I was like, you know what sucks, man? I, I never get any notes passed to me, and it's kind of annoying. So, uh, as, as the second lamest thing I've ever done in my life, probably number one being, uh, creating a YouTube channel that nobody watches, <laughs> would be, uh, uh, we decided to start passing notes to each other every day. Huh. And, uh, yeah, you talk about, like, a pretty lame idea because it's always like, oh, hey, what are you doing, pal? Well, I'm, uh, in class. Yep, learning about biology. <laughs> learning about the biology. 
I know Kandria is the powerhouse of the cell, as usual. <laughs> So, uh, I, I don't, you know, I don't think I have a point there. No, I never had no expanded <laughs> yeah, to me. Yeah, you know, I, I thought I had a point, but I, I, I just think that, uh, that story went nowhere. <laughs> no, I never this had... has been another uh, episode of No Morals Theater. <laughs> now, why'd I go here? I don't know, why did you? <sighs> I was too busy talking about how lame I was in high school. Alright, well, Chrissy's gonna go in a cabin and never come out again. It's one of the cabins by the lake that's having issues. Uh, Alright, Paul. It's on you, bud! I got a rock. No, I never had notes passed me in school. I've I've had classmates who used to pass around notes. They never did this thing where if they got caught, you know, they had to read the note aloud in class, though. I think that's just a, a movie and TV's thing. I don't remember. I don't remember anyone ever getting caught with it. I went to uh, I went to one of those lame public schools, you know. Not the fancy charter school like you went to. I, I went to public school in sixth grade. And that was when they, they had the notes passed around in, in uh, class. And one time somebody did get caught, all the teacher did was take the note and just tear it up and throw it in the garbage can. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's what... I want to say that might have been what happened in our school. I can neither confirm nor deny... Alright, where are we going to next? Hmm. I guess we're gonna play as Laura. Hi, I'm Laura. Laura's terrible. Of course she does, all she has is rocks. Ooh, she's fast anyway. She's like, of course I'm fast. I'm wearing my Nikes. Boom! Alright, where is fireplace? Laura can't jump, but she can run. Well, she can run, but she can't jump. I guess she's wearing Reebok. I remember that whole hype in the early 90s about Air Jordans, you know. Make you run faster and jump higher and empty out your wallet. You know what? I never liked Michael Jordan. I know, scandalous. <laughs> I was just, just like, I don't have a response for that. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember him being absolutely friggin' huge in the uh, early 90s. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, all my friends, they, they love Michael Jordan, and uh, I didn't. I really did not give a damn about him. Then again, I didn't like basketball very much, so that might have been it. I think that's the more likely scenario. But, I mean, it's like, even like when Space Jam came out, I really didn't like Space Jam. Yeah, Space Jam is one of those movies that is just like, okay, it existed at that point. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember Bill Murray was in it for like a minute. And supposedly, uh, they're trying to make a either a sequel or a reboot with uh, of Space Jam with LeBron James. Oh, hooray! Who's... There's someone else I don't care about. Yeah, and he's apparently he's breaking all of Michael Jordan's records, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Moving on. Good for him. I don't like LeBron James. And this is our episode of Creepy and Creepy Disc Basketball. <laughs> yeah, this is where it's like, Creepy Night Shift Guy Hates Basketball. Creepy Night Shift Guy, he doesn't like notes passed in class. Creepy Night Shift Guy doesn't like cherry farms. Creepy <laughs> Night Shift Guy. It's... Don't get him started on meat, uh, steaks that don't have fat in them. <laughs> you gotta have marbling. That's where the flavor is. I don't like. I don't like f fat and steak. It's. It's not a flavor thing. It's a texture thing. It's like chewing out a rubber band. It's gross. Oop! Gotta get the knife.
All right, more of this. Oh yeah, we're running. We're jumping. We're in the Olympics. We're going to Moscow in 1980. Oh wait, no we're not. We're hanging around Camp Crystal Lake. We're training. All right, anybody in here? Nope, just a unlit but I bet fireplace. There's gonna be a note. Not seeing one. There's none note. Well, we fucked something up. Alright, get out of the way, zombies. And go to the next cabin. Maybe I didn't light that ca that Oh the damn children. We gotta go by the lake. Wish those dang children would die and leave me alone. Oh boy, that's that's gonna be a sound bite someone will collect. <laughs> Hello, unlit fireplace. You hear about that creepy night shift guy? He wishes children would die. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Way ahead of you. <laughs> you have to go there anyway. Hey, Paul, do your thing. Go get him, George. I mean, George. Paul, George, Ringo, whatever. George is just slightly closer. Ever so slightly. Plus, Paul did it last time. Jason's like, this is it, I'm out of here. Because saving the children is always a thankless job. Yeah. You save the children, they're like, my parents are going to sue. <laughs> they're all like, where's my iPad? We have permanent psychological and emotional damage. I want to play the Roblox. <laughs> I want to play the Minecraft. I wish this was Fortnite. I want to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. Never even heard of that one. That is the brand new Pokemon game that's out. That sounds lame as hell. I just timestamped her video. My apologies. It's already timestamped because it's uh, Wednesday the 13th, 2019. Ah. Uh, March. Yes. Yes, that means St. Patrick's Day is coming soon. Yeah. And like I said, once again, the fourth anniversary of this show. I'm going to go get me a shamrock shake. <laughs> I do, I do it every year. You know what? I, I do not like the shamrock shake. I know, you've explained it to me. You don't like the taste of fake mint. I think it is highly overrated. It's a tradition. It's kind of like, you know, Fat Tuesday me getting poonchkis. Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, sorry about that. That's alright. It might have them, uh, this weekend sometime, I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna change. Cause now we can... Mark's got the torch. Yeah, but one hit and he's toast. Yeah, he ain't gonna get hit. Watch, he's totally gonna get hit now. You're on fire, Jason! I think he's gonna fight me to the death now. Looks it. He's looking at you all beaten up and bruised. He's like, brush your teeth. See your hygienist. Oh, watch, watch out. out. Jason's still alive. Stronger than before. Two exclamation points. All right, where's Chrissy? Oh, Chrissy's right where I need her. Well, it looks like everybody's healed up. All right. Hi, Pamela. Ah. How you doing, Pamela? Ah. Still dead, I see. Ah. You see my Jason? Where's my boy? Ah. I'm totally not Medusa. Ah. I'm pink for some Pam, reason. Pam, why is your head purple? Well, you know, I've been dead and mummified. You got a sweater. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So now, uh, Chrissy has the sweater. 
So that one uh, dickhead who left a comment on my video four years ago about Ugh, how disgraceful it was that Mark got the sweater. Well, there. <laughs> there. Mark doesn't have the sweater no more. Chrissy has the sweater. So petty. I don't hold a grudge. So petty. <laughs> I'm not going to let you toward a coin dozer ever again. <laughs> I wonder if all my fireplaces are still lit from the previous day. Twenty bucks, those are not. Nope, yeah, they they are. Oh, well, we didn't shake, so I'm not out twenty bucks. <gasps> you can find a torch yes. in one of the cabins by the lake. Ah, oh, I'm so gonna get that torch. And then and we're Jason's gonna, gonna be ruin the day. Yep, get the torch. Then grab a pitchfork, and then we can start a mob. Or, you know, go bale some hay. Alright, Jason. Prepare to rue. That's right, we're gonna use you to thicken soup. Get your flour, get your butter, and prepare for the ruin. Yep. Flour, your butter, your low heat, stir constantly. Finish it off in the oven. Who is it? Who is it? Debbie! 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 I'm here, Debbie! Actually, it's easier to take him on outside. She's like, shit, she has rocks, I'm out of here! <laughs> yep! So, oh, jeez, I didn't think she was gonna throw rocks at me. She's got that one sharp rock, you know, it's got a point at the end, hits, hits him right in the face. Ah, oh, you jerk zombie! It's suffering, you fools. All right, everybody, join the zombie parade. All right. Yeah, everybody loves the zombie parade. One of the slowest parades ever. Do -do -do -do. Everybody loves the zombie parade. Golden Corral's new slogan. <laughs> it looks like the zombie's tickling your back. <laughs> He's giving her a back rub. He's like, eh, let me rub your back for you. <laughs> He's like, tickle, tickle, tickle. Uh, you know what? Hmm. I'm not going to play his game. Nope. Because I know what Jason's trying to do. He's trying to get me in that cabin so he can beat me up. Jason's a bully. Well, no, ma'am. I'm not falling for it. Yeah, Jason's a ma'am, apparently. It's ma'am! <laughs> Let's light the fireplace. Alright. Where'd the two panels go? The answer is, I don't know. Alright, Chrissy. Where are ya? Yeah, you go away. I'm Blinky. I'm Chrissy in the Technicolor sweater. <laughs> Alright, Debbie. Go, go do get him. Go do Dallas. Ha! Ah! I think I made that joke in the original video, but that's okay. Time for a back scratch. Oh, does that feel nice? Get the knots out of your, out of your back? Dun -dun. Yeah, you got a yeah, zombie back scratcher and the zombie parade. Again, I don't care what anyone says. I love this game. <laughs> I think it's a good game. It's a good game. Damn, children. Y'all just a bunch of haters out there. Yeah, you naysayers. Looking at you, James Rolfe and Mike Matei. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. I'll take it under advisement. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll put that note in my uh, file of facts. Debbie. All right, who do we got by the lake? People. Paul. Paul, you're by the lake. Paul's got a knife. Go save the day, Paul. 
Sure will. Nope, wrong way, Paul. That's pretty impressive he can be swimming backwards and yet chuck knives out of his back. It's the over it's the over the shoulder toss. Hi Jason. Jason's like, where'd my weapon go? I got my weapon taken away. That's well, because I haven't faced him in the cabin yet. Yep. It's because I know better. It's like, I got a punch. Is that, is that uh, intimidating? Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, last time uh, someone got in a boxing match with Jason, knocked their head clean off. Yep, that was in Jason Takes Manhattan. Yep. He ended up with his head in a dumpster. The Spoiler. least of the good ones, in my opinion. Alright. Because I was be. not a fan of the New Line movies. I still say Jason Man Takes Manhattan was better than any of them, though. Mm. Oh, get your angry comments ready. We feed on your hatred. You know the drill by now. I'm just kidding. Nobody's going to listen to this. Except for probably that one guy's like, Ugh, Christian got the sweater, how disgraceful. Yeah, there's always one. I'm giving you a down vote because meh. Because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> I just spent my day uh, making fun of 12-year-olds on a Roblox feed. I can need to pick on an actual adult. <laughs> oh, no! What? You gotta face Jason with rocks? That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, he ran away. Oh. He's facing someone, though. I gotta do something to stop that. Oh, who is it? Who is up for the challenge? Oh, it's Chrissy. There he is. Well, he got me pretty good. Yeah. Back in this cabin. Hi, how's everybody doing? Can I get someone some snacks? First aid kits? A moist, a moist? No note? Nope. <sighs> we fucked it up. We just fucked it up. Yep. Yep, we certainly did. Now how do we unfuck it is the question. Uh, I don't know. Boy, this must be riveting to the folks at home. All one of ya. <laughs> All right, like here. Go back here. So you may be asking yourself, why exactly do you do this if uh, if nobody's watching you? Eh, it's a hobby. Got nothing better to do. It's fun. It's fun. Sometimes you just gotta do things for fun. I could, you know, I. I guess I could develop a drug addiction or something, but... Please don't. <laughs> oh! What's this one say? Go into the cabin near the cave. I don't want to. But that's what it says. <gasps> I got a flashlight. I got a flashlight! It's one of those you have to shake to light it up. Actually, it looks like one of those big heavy metal ones. Yeah, it's a mag. It, de it definitely isn't the, uh... Not the tack light? Definitely not the tack light. Oh, yay, jelly. That ain't jelly, that's vitamins. It is whatever my brain thinks it is, and it looks like jelly, therefore it's jelly. Um, it says it on the internet, must be true. Boom, got myself a knife. Oh, the damn children. It's always the cabins by the lake, too. It's like the lake cabins are cursed or something. Yeah, because that's where the children live. Of 
course the children uh, get- Laura's closer, actually. You know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna- Oh, Laura's got a torch, too. Ah, uh, get ready to start ruin, Jason. Yep, we're gonna set your ass on fire. We're gonna toast you like marshmallows. Oh. Nope, guess not. Go away, bird. Ain't got time to suffer, you fools. Oh, he's got the uh, butter knife. Okay. You gonna leave? Oh. Could be a war of attrition. He's getting fast. <laughs> and one, and one, uh, one it, torch for the road. <laughs> yeah, and one to, one to grow on. And a pinch to grow an inch. Yeah, sit and spin, Jason. In this case, uh, turn and burn. Hi there. Hmm. Uh, George has got a knife. Mark's got a torch. Paul's got a knife. Laura's got a knife. Debbie's got a knife. Chrissy's... Cr Chrissy's only... Oh yeah, Chrissy's got a knife. She's got a knife and she's got the linky sweater. Uh, where's Mark? Mark? You're up to bat. You're going on a vacation. I don't want to go on vacation. This is supposed to be my vacation. Oh, damn it, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> How's your sex life? Uh, Look pretty good. I can jump high. Yeah, because I'll come in handy. All the ladies are really into guys that can jump high. Yeah, it's kind of their thing, you know? You're not... Oh, where is Chrissy? What? <laughs> All the way over there. Well, who's in the cab? All right, it's Paul. Thank what? You. Mm. <laughs> you did something. Well, I guess I'm fighting Jason in the cabin. Oh, I should have switched weapons with Laura. Oh, a bit late now. Oh. Ow! Up. Don't forget the floss. Well, he got Paul. Paul is dead. And in true 80s horror movie fashion, the black guy is the first to die. That's racist. It's a trope for a reason. <laughs> All right, Laura. Oh, damn it. You're right <laughs> at the door. It's like, I'm going to punch. How'd you like a nice Jason punch? Sorry, right, we're just gonna set you on fire. Dance. Do the Jason dance. And we dance, 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 and we dance, dance, dance. Jets. Oh. Do the Jason dance. That was way too preemptive. Alright, time to go chase him. Laura's fast, she can do it. There he is. Oh, you're dead, Jason! You still haven't defeated Jason. And he's even stronger! Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're back to full health. But all right, uh, where's Chrissy? There's Chrissy. So what we need to do is not fuck around, Mark. Come on. Well, tell the damn zombies to keep coming out of the ground. Hi there. There. I got a knife! I got a knife! Hey everybody, I got a knife! Help! Don't save a Mark, it's a trap! Alright, who's... Who's in that cabin? It's Debbie! Debbie!
Jason's running around with a bunch of knives sticking out of him like he's a freaking porcupine. <laughs> he's like, ow, 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 this is a bad idea. I'm never going to that acupuncture place again. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Voorhees, you're looking awful green today. Well, I am rotting. Yeah, but neon green? That's a little weird. Also, I have hair dye in that color. Both the green and the pink. Just drop your weapon already. Uh, I think she might kill me. She killed me. Come on, drop it. Drop it. There we are. All right. Now, we have to get Mark to safety. Yes. All right, where is Chrissy? Right there. Ugh. All right, Chrissy. This sweater smells awful. It ought to. It's been sitting in a shack out in the woods for, uh, for about five years. Oh great, it smells like mothballs and dust and rat crap. Alright, now that that's taken care of. Now, moving onward. Who is going to be next? Hi, Debbie. I get lost in your eyes. Is there electric use? I guess we'll just try to get Debbie a machete. Oh, who's who's he going after? It's Chrissy. Oh, you done fucked up, Jason. He's like, shit, she's got pitchforks, run! Oh, you went the other way, didn't ya? Probably. All right, Jason, you get back here. You get back here and face the pitchforks. I bet I know where he's going. That Jason is pretty damn predictable. Just like his movie. Oh, I knew it! It's always that cabin on the, on the left. Right, George. All right, George. It's up to you to save him. Yeah, going as slow as possible. He's got cheeseburgers in his shoes. <laughs> he got cheeseburgers in them shoes, boy. <laughs> Thank you. Look at me. I'm faster than ever. He I is too. I'm Jason on meth. Meth Jason. The worst kind. Not even once. Oh, he's gone into rage mode. Uh-oh. You win for now. Just barely. Someone's gonna come out of the lake and take me out. A bird got me. Done in by a bird. Done in by a crow. Prehistoric birds. Pretty much. And then there were four. It's okay. I have a feeling that the tide is about to change. I am a winner. The winds of change? Besides, this is Friday the 13th. This is kind of my game. As he sits here throwing knives at zombies. Come on, bird, drop down. Thank you. To which I guarantee there's someone out there. Yeah, you're doing it terrible and all wrong. Well, guess what? I am a winner. Just remember, folks, four years of this nonsense. Four years. 
And if you're new to the channel, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, backlogged videos that are just as terrible as this, if not worse. Yes, some of them have audio issues. Some of them have video issues. <laughs> some of them. Some of them have neighbors' dogs issues. And almost all of them can't be monetized. It's okay. We don't monetize, anyways. That's right. Ain't gonna be no ads on my videos. Not today. Yeah, I got a machete. All right. Stupid bird. All right, who else do we got? We've got Laura. Laura's got a torch. You know, I think we're all good. All right, let's go Jason hunting. Damn it, Debbie, get out there. All right, Debbie, you're on the clock. Because that's what you do to machetes, you throw them. Oh, of course it's the children. Why wouldn't it be the children? After all, this is a summer camp. All right, everybody follow the conga line. It's the conga line of death. Everybody follow the conga line. The conga line. The conga line. Ooh, he's Every right hot on my tail. Everybody follow the conga line. That's and hot pursuit right there. And hope you don't lose your place. Stupid bird. Uh, Jason killed one of them. Well, that's Debbie. Bye-bye, Debbie. And then there were three. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna send Laura out to attack him too. Oh, you brazen soul. Oh, yeah. Stupid frickin' zombies, stay out of the water. Go away, birds! All of you ah. <laughs> Yeah, shouldn't have even bothered. And then there were two. I'm not going out with Chrissy. Nope. So I think I'm going to switch to Mark. Oh, Mark's got why, one sliver of life left. But he's got two of those healing thingies. They're vitamins. Well, you just breathe on them the wrong way and he keels over. Go away, zombies. Nobody likes you. You're overdone. You're overused. Yeah, remember all those zombies in the Friday 13th movies? Yeah, we brought that up in the uh, first video. I believe we did. Oh, it's the middle cabin on the lake this time. Shut up, we're getting there. We're not. I'm gonna let the kids die. We want them to think that we're coming. That's we gotta psych them out. Kids think we're coming. We ain't coming. And then there were six kids. What? Yeah. Oh, it's just me and Jason now. Yep. Chrissy versus Jason. The movie that everybody's been waiting for. It's the ultimate showdown. It's the ultimate showdown. Who's gonna win the showdown? Probably not us. Oh, no. I have a good feeling about Chrissy. It's the ultimate showdown. It's the ultimate showdown. Ooh, she has no vitamins, though. That, that ain't a good thing. At 
light a fireplace anyways. Yeah, get it nice and toasty warm in there. Alright, what I might do is I might go to the woods. Go to the woods? Yeah. Here we go. That's what I was after. Yeah, because there's vitamins in the woods. Maru! I'm a dog! Pet me! Alright, well... Got at least one. I got a vitamin! Yep, you got a single, uh, single one a day. The king vitamin, if you will. <laughs> the alpha vitamin. Oh, I bet everyone remembers King Vitamin cereal. I do. Remember how it like used to come with like a uh, a, a cutout of the king's face yeah. on the back, and you could wear it as a mask. Yeah, and the the King Vitamin in the front is some middle-aged guy in a king outfit holding <laughs> the uh, cereal like he's about to make love to it. You know, I, I I wish in retrospect that they would have gotten like Jerry the King Lawler to be their <laughs> their face guy for that. That would have been great. Jerry Lola here for King Vitamin Cereal. I can't do the accent, I'm sorry. You are a far better, uh... Nope, I'm gonna let him die. That's right, I'm letting them children die. Yeah, watch it, he kills all of them. No, he can't, he can only kill five. So now we wait. Go on, Jason. Bird. Ah, this is grand. Everybody was pitchfork tossing. Got 20 seconds to kill. Come on, bird. The one counselor left, save us! And Christy said, no. <laughs> these crows coming from? Meanwhile, their parents are like, this is a tragedy, and Chrissy's like, for you. <laughs> one single kid. One one survivor one to tell the left. tale. He's the one who has to talk to all the papers and the news. And the... <laughs> He's like, I was the sole survivor of Camp Crystal Lake. The counselor didn't care. She said, I'm gonna let those children die. <laughs> Turns out the, the sole surviving kid was Jason. No, I keep hoping he'll be in one of these cabins, but he never is. Hey, Jason! Hey, Culligan Man! <laughs> hey, Cookie Man! I'm your little candy man! <laughs> just watched that episode of King of the Hill. <laughs> That's a show I wish they... Supposedly they were to in talks for a while about bringing it back. That's what I've heard, but it's just talks. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's... Yeah, right now, it just sounds like talk. You know how Hollywood talk is. It's, oh, yeah. It's, it's in development one minute and then on the shelf the next. Well, you know, you drop a weird casual comment, some reporter overhears it, and it's all of a sudden, oh, this is big news, and you're like, no, I was just shit-talking, man. Yeah, you know. I should be catching Jason. You should be catching Jason. He really should be around this lake somewhere. Come on, Jason. Come on! You got a sweater and pitchfork and everything! It's gonna be fun! Are you scared, Jason? Are you scared? Are you scared? Jason is scared. Yeah, he is. He's like, I don't want to come out and meet Chrissy. He's a scaredy Jason. I don't want to come out and meet Chrissy. She's got a sweater. She got a pitchfork. She's a mean old counselor. Ah, here we go! Oh, right for the fucking children, you cocksucker! Yep. 
Cause All right. Can... Well, I guess I have no choice. Yep. Here it is, folks. It's the final showdown. Yeah, it is. Chrissy versus Jason. Who's going to win? It's probably going to be Jason because it's indoors. Thank you. Oh, he's only got three bits of life, though. If I can hit him three times. Where are you, Jason? Come on, show your purple mug. I did it again, folks! You have finally managed to defeat Jason. But is yeah. he really dead? We're not telling! End. Oh, well, actually, Victor Miller's got the right, so he's definitely fucking dead forever. <laughs> so here it is! Here's to a four, great four years of Let's Grow Bull, and here's to many, many more. Oh, yeah! Four more years, folks! Four more years! <laughs> And on that note, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.